Welcome back my fellow plastic vendors to 3D pen crafts made easy. My name is DK and today we will test out our newly acquired and first made plastic sheet. First let me undo the bending that I did in the research and creation part of this sheet. Which as you can see is an easy task for a heat gun and a ruler. And quickly get it ready using the fan that is blue and mini. Let's start off by slicing it with a precision knife. Yes, that is the sharp side. Yes, still the sharp side. The sheet is so thick that it feels questionable and dangerous to be working it with a precision knife. It is not clearly visible, but the knife slipped on the surface and I almost stabbed myself in the back. The knife did not uphold its name with this test. Preheating the plastic does help a lot to get through it, but for this thickness of a sheet I would not recommend using this tool to cut it. As I am not that smart to follow my own advice and instinct, I decided to try and puncture the sheet after heating it. As you could probably tell by the lack of control and struggles, this is also not recommended for this tool and sheet thickness. It might not be the best usage for the 3D pen and its nozzle, but using the tip while at temperature, it can be used to puncture holes easily. But it might not be worthwhile as this could potentially damage the pen. Let's continue and see if we can use the heat gun to fuse two pieces of sheet back together. Two hundred IQ move. Hands free. Perfectly stable construction. high quality weld. As this heat gun struggles to really melt the plastic, it is not suitable for this task. Let's try the same thing with a lighter torch. Heat guns that provide a bit more power surely would be up for this. Maybe providing more surface area for the two pieces to connect. As the torch easily melts the plastic, heating both sides makes for an easy way to fuse the pieces together. It also provides for a quick touch up of the previously punctured holes. For the next test, let's try to see if we can bend the sheet over an object. I folded some aluminum foil for the sheet to be placed onto. Holes, weird placement, that's what's up. If hands could think, that's what it would look like.
Oops. As the heat gun can get the plastic to get elastic, it might be much easier to control than to use the torch lighter. But with this thickness of a sheet, it remained pretty limited and I used the torch to help out. Furthermore, it rather quickly formed creases. Suggestions, questions and requests are all much appreciated in the comment section down below. And I will try my best to reply and perhaps follow it up in future content. If this seems to be the channel that you will enjoy, please consider a like, share and subscribe. And join me in making some fun crafts. Thanks for watching and happy bending everyone.